Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to hit the ball effectively, consistently, and aggressively, whatever height it arrives at. We know we all want to hit the ball in this perfect place at waist height, but many times, even frequently, we have to play the ball too low and too high. I want to show you a simple and effective way of playing the ball in all of the different strike zones. Now, as we make the forehand stroke, it's a circular or rotational movement as we swing the racket across the body like so. There is penetration through the court, but essentially it's a rotational movement. And that rotational circular movement could be described as a clock face. You see, the racket starts kind of down here at the bottom of the clock and then up and around and all the way through to this side here. And then we break the circle. So from my perspective, it's kind of like six, three, 12 and nine. See, from this direction, six, three, 12, and nine. Now for waist height balls, the swing path should be from three to 12. See, I come to here, I'm coming up to the ball, through the three, through the 12, and finish. And that three to 12 swing path creates a beautiful kinetic chain. See, as I rotate my energy from one side of the body to the other. But a lower ball, it's difficult to get a real kinetic chain. I'm not swinging from one side of the body to the other. So for the lower ball, we want to create a kinetic chain in a different way. Kinetic chains always work from the ground up or from inside to out. So if the ball is low and we're gonna try and make powerful topspin, then I want you to think of swinging from six to three. And so down here, six to three. And you'll very often see the pro players with this kind of aborted finish. Roger Federer was very famous for that finish. He used to use it a lot as he played the ball early and low, six to three, the stop is there and the racket and arm has been forced away from the body, creating kinetic chain, power, and topspin. So for the medium ball, we're looking at three to 12, and for the low ball, from six to three. For the high ball, we want to create side spin and topspin. So for the high ball, we want to swing from three to nine, straight across the ball, three to nine. Looking at from this direction, we have low ball, six to three, the perfect ball, three to 12, and the high ball from three to nine. This is an incredibly effective way of dealing with balls of different heights, because in traditional coaching, there are just too many factors. You see the low ball has to be played closer to the body in this respect, but further away from the body in this respect. The waist height ball is just a comfortable distance, both away from the body and in front, and the high ball is played a little bit further away from the body, but a little bit closer to the body. So there's so many factors to allow for. And then the low ball, the racket should be thrown away from the body. The waist height ball, the racket should be pulled from low to high. And the high ball, the racket should be pulled in towards the body. But if you just think of the clock face, then when we have six to three, then we have the perfect place and the perfect swing path. When we have three to 12, we have the perfect contact point and the perfect swing path. And when we have three to nine, we have the perfect contact point and the perfect swing path. So we don't have to think of all of these different factors and practice them individually, taking a long time to put them together. We have a one size, one solution fits all situation. I hope this makes sense. Love to know how it works in your game or the players that you work with. And if you need more help with your game, have a look at what we do with online coaching. The information's in the website below, or you can email us for details. We're helping players in over 25 countries of all ages and all levels with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one coaching. And check out our online books. The One Minute Tennis Serve Solution and the One Minute Tennis Forehand Solution are on Amazon. They're a unique blend of very detailed biomechanical and anatomical information with super simple solutions to technical problems. So practice this concept, embrace it, learn it, understand it, and then forget it. Because we don't wanna think about all of the aspects of the strokes all of the time. If we do that, it's just overcomplicating the issues and we end up with paralysis by analysis. An example of this is a few years ago, I took a course in how to control the car in skids and slides. Did I then go around sliding and skidding around every corner? Of course not. But two years ago, I drove into an incredibly difficult blizzard in Italy, in the mountains. And I passed maybe 50 or 60 cars that were trapped in the deep snow and the ice. 
but using the skills that I'd learnt in that course, I managed to manoeuvre my way and skid in my way and slide my way through the blizzard and drive off into the sunset. Did I feel good? I felt fantastic. You see, I used the skills that I got when I needed them. So if you're hitting the ball great, then don't think about it. But if you're struggling with low balls, high balls, or balls of different situations or shapes, then use the clock face idea and you'll find that you have great control over every ball all of the time. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.